Hi, this is Jen of NotJustForChristmas.net and I'm here with a review of the GB Pocket Stroller. I bought the stroller for a trip to Italy a few weeks ago and wanted to put together a review that contains some of the information that I wished I'd been able to find before we went. So one of the first things I wanted to mention is that this uh, stroller has very good forwards and backwards stability, but if you are taking it uh, over any kind of cobblestones, as we did in the streets of Florence, or you're uh, going up and down curbs to try and maneuver around people, the uh, wheels tend to shimmy backwards and forwards a fair bit, and they can actually spin around in circles while you're uh, moving forwards. It can be a little bit disconcerting, I find, uh, looking down at it doing that, but strangely enough, I actually didn't find as though it impacted the steering at all. Uh, you can lock out the front wheels using this button so that they only move forwards, but actually I found that made steering more difficult uh, when you're in maneuvering around up and down curves and that kind of thing. So I can imagine it being helpful if you're going forwards a long way in one direction, like on a beach for example, um, but for inner city I actually didn't find that so helpful. So not something that made it too difficult to use, but just something that was a little odd I thought. So moving on, uh, one other thing that I learned the hard way was how to maneuver this thing up and down curves. So going up is actually not that difficult. Put the wheels on the curb, lift the stroller up and move forward. It was going down that was the hard part. So my instinct is when I'm moving off a curb is to put the wheels down as soon as I can. And what I found was I'm actually bottoming out on a metal bar that's running across the front of the stroller. So the way I figured out but to solve this problem is to keep pushing the stroller forward with the front wheels up in the air until the back wheels are almost to the edge of the curb and then go ahead and push the rest of the stroller off the curb. And so that neatly goes ahead and solves the problem of uh, bottom down on that front rail. Another thing to point out is this very small carry basket here at the bottom which the manufacturer claims has a weight capacity of about 10 pounds. I think I probably did stuff more into it than that. You're limited not so much by the size of the basket, but by the size of the, um, the opening right here, which is very small. You're not gonna be able to put a big bag in there. The best way I found to make use of it was to pack things in there individually, so sweaters and jackets and uh, sandwiches and water bottles and anything else I might need for the day. I went ahead and put those things in individually, and it actually held quite a bit. But as you can see, as you push down on the basket, it ends up being even lower than the metal bar that's at the front there. So that further exacerbates your bottoming out problem. But again, something that can be solved by just pushing the stroller towards the edge of the curb before you go down. The stroller's handles are actually a little bit low. Um, I'm about five, eight feet tall, and it seems to be the right height for me when I'm standing here like this. But as soon as I start to take a step and I actually walk fairly fast and I take long strides, um, what I find is that I have the stroller out in front of me like this and instead of holding the handles, I end up pushing the stroller with the, the heel of my hand um, and pushing it along the crossbar like this. So if you're any taller than me, this stroller is probably not going to work for you because you're going to end up bent over trying to push the thing, which could be pretty uncomfortable. If you're shorter than about 5'8", it should be fine. Uh, I found the, the handle position was fairly ergonomic um, if, if I was actually able to put it in that position, to push it in that position, but because I wasn't, you know, I, I just mainly used the crossbar. And I did find that a fair bit of vibration, especially on cobbled streets, came up through the stroller, um, but you, it's just something I, I kind of learned to live with. One major flaw on this stroller, I think, is the, the sunshade, which unfortunately is basically useless. Um, if the sun is directly overhead or is behind you, then your child gets great protection. As soon as you turn a corner, sun's coming in the side and uh, your child is no longer protected. So my two-year-old actually found the best thing to do with this was to play hide and seek because she can pull it down and play peekaboo. Uh, but as a sunshade, it's, it's not really good for much. So you will want to make sure that your child is wearing sunscreen and or a hat. The uh, stroller straps, for some reason she is actually able to get her arms out of these fairly easily. The uh, stroller has some um, anchor straps on the back right here and these will actually slide up and down and then they can be tightened as well. Even though they're all the way down and quite tight, she can actually get her arms out of it quite easily. And when she does that, she's able to lean forward and reach towards the wheels. Uh, we never had an incident where she tipped over or caught her fingers in the wheels or anything like that. Uh, but just something to be aware of, especially if you have a longer armed child. So uh, finally, one thing I wanted to mention about taking on a plane, which is I think the main reason why people are going to buy this stroller, is because you can actually take it on a, train, on a plane. It will fit in the overhead bin and under, or under the seat in front of you on any plane that I traveled on. 
um, that goes from the long haul international flights to the puddle jumpers, two seats on each side of the aisle with the tiny overhead bin space. I was able to fit it overhead on, on any kind of plane that I traveled on. The main issue I had actually was convincing the gate agent that it would fit. And so uh, when I showed up for my first couple of flights with the stroller to the gate, they said, oh, you have a stroller, let's tag it, we're gonna check it under the plane. And I actually was not able to convince them that the stroller would fit on the plane. So the uh, way that I figured out to, come to get around that is to arrive at the gate with the stroller folded up. So um, if the gate area is busy, then you can kind of do it at the back of the crowd. Um, and so if, if the gate agent doesn't see it unfolded as a stroller, then you get to the area where you, you check your boarding pass and uh, you just have a folded up piece of luggage that is very small and uh, happens to be a stroller and probably they won't even realize what it is and you should be able to take it on the plane just fine. So um, one thing I really liked about the stroller is this crossbar, which is um, the, the functionality of it I think is probably something that was not intended. When I travel alone, I often have a big duffel bag with all of our stuff in it. And so when I'm in the airport, I'm dragging that behind me and I'm pushing the stroller in front of me. And it's very difficult for me to maneuver a regular stroller with just the two handles on the side. because um, it's, it's hard to steer with just one hand off to the side. But with one hand on this, the crossbar right here, it's actually very easy for me to maneuver uh, on the carpet in the airport dragging a suitcase with the other hand. Um, I wouldn't want to do it with one hand uh, anywhere other than in an airport, but for that functionality it actually works quite well. So one thing that other reviewers have mentioned that I think this stroller is lacking is a carry strap. And I have solved this problem here with a simple luggage strap that I bought for seven bucks at a, a drugstore. And so what I do with it is when the stroller is being used, I just kind of tuck the strap out of the way um, when it's uh, when I'm going to carry with it, I turn it so that the buckle is facing towards the inside, like this, because I don't want the buckle against my shoulder. I go ahead and collapse the stroller, and to do that, I first press the buttons and collapse the extension. I found that if you try and collapse from full height without stopping first, it actually is quite difficult to do. So you collapse the extension first, and then go ahead and push down on the stroller, making sure that the uh, buckle is inside the stroller, because if it's outside, you won't be able to fold it up all the way. Go ahead and collapse it like this, fold it in on itself, and do up the clip. And then underneath your useless sunshade, is a carry strap. And so uh, it was just looped around the fabric of the stroller on the inside, but once it's all folded up on itself, it's actually uh, the weight of uh, the strap is being borne by the, the uh, handles themselves. So it's not damaging the stroller in any way. And at this point, you can just kind of throw it over your um, shoulder and carry it. And I carried this for quite long distances without any trouble at all. So uh, that's one fairly easy way of getting around the carry strap problem, but hopefully they'll fix that in future generations. So the main reason that people buy the stroller, I think, is you know the the fact that it will fit on the plane, but just the flexibility that it gives you. You know, I've I've mentioned a lot of points about the stroller that I think could have been could have been handled better. Overall, the amount of flexibility that this gave us on our European trip was really incredible. Um, especially when I'm traveling traveling alone, I don't want to be holding a two year old when I'm walking around a city sightseeing, and and she doesn't always want to ride in the stroller, but sometimes she does. So it's really awesome to be able to have the flexibility to choose. Does she want to be carried for a few minutes? And then is she ready to go in the stroller? Okay, I flap the thing out and I've been able to carry it um, as far as we need to go. And, and it's here and ready whenever I need it. Uh, we went to Bologna and we climbed the tower to the top and uh, looked down on the streets of Bologna and I couldn't take the stroller with me. So we just folded it up in its small position and uh, left it, tucked it in a little cubby area. It was fine there for an hour and nobody realized what it was. It took up no space whatsoever and uh, you know it gave us the flexibility to do something that we otherwise wouldn't have been able to do. I think we were able to actually make a tight connection on our return trip. Uh, we didn't have very much time and if we had had to wait for the stroller to come up from underneath the plane for 10 minutes in between, it could have been even tighter for us to, um, to actually make that connection. So in, in terms of being able to, to do things time-wise that you might not be able to do, um, I, I appreciate the stroller from that perspective too. It's, it folds up small enough that you can actually store it in a suitcase. Uh, we left our case for a week uh, while we went and did some backpacking. And if, it had, if the stroller had been by itself, I might have worried that they would get separated or maybe it would get damaged as it was being thrown around with other, other luggage in a closet. Um, but as it is, I can just throw it in the duffel bag and come back in a week and know that it's absolutely fine. 
we can go to a restaurant. I can imagine taking it to New York where the space is at a premium and you're always on top of somebody else in a restaurant. And you can just fold it up and slide it right under your seat or put it in between two tables. And it, it's, it takes up no space at all. It's completely out of the way. Um, for things like stairs and escalators, where you, uh, it, it might be difficult to manage your, your toddler in the stroller, you can just fold it up and sling it over your shoulder and you know, it's, it's, um, it's very easy to manage. So you know, overall, I thought there were some, the, some things about the stroller that it's, I, find, <laughs> I would have found would be helpful to know before I had bought it. But um, overall, the flexibility that it gives you in terms of what you can do while you're traveling, to have a stroller that folds up that small, um, I think is something that ultimately makes me recommend it to travelers who are looking to, um, to bring a child, a, a, a toddler, who's not yet fully walking by themselves, but is also not yet uh, being pushed all the time. I hope you found this helpful. If you're interested in parenting, hiking, and making stuff, feel free to check out my website at notjustforchristmas.net.